What's up? What's up, Facebook Nation, BTY Nation, UMC Nation, all my friends and family. I'm going to make this quick. This is going to be another, not another one. It's going to be an actual quick Facebook Live. Uh, I'm waiting for my daughter uh, to pick her up from school. She told me to be here at 3.30, so I'm going to give her five minutes to hang out with her friends. Uh, but really quickly, I um, want to talk to you guys. I actually was watching my uh, Under Armour video that my, my branding manager, Tanashi, made for me. And right after that, uh, a, a rock, the Dwayne The Rock Johnson video came on about it's a motivational piece. What's up, BC? Um, so it got me pumped up. So I'm going to do a quick video, a quick talk to you guys. And, and, and it's probably perfect that my boy Brandon logged on because me and Brandon go way back. We go back to 1988. 1988 when I first met him. And we were, we were training to be... You know, football players in high school, hopefully go to college. He wanted to go to OU. I wanted to go anywhere, D1. What's up, Chad? Also a high school uh, teammate. Uh, so they know me, and it's perfect that they, they logged in because they've known me since I was 15. Little skinny, skinny 15-year-old trying to get big, eating, eating protein powder, uh, eating baby food, trying to get big. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make is I talked to my son's team last night, who I train, uh, 12-year-olds. I talked to uh, my morning boot campers yesterday, you know, anywhere from 40 to 60 year olds. Talked to my, my corporate account today, same way, same message. You cannot approach your dreams without passion, right? You can't, you can't approach, whether it's to lose 50 pounds, whether it's to, to be in the NFL, whether it's to be a lawyer, a doctor, uh, change the world, whatever it is, you can't approach that shit casually. You can't do it. You can't. And, and, and it reminded me how much the, the, the world is simplistic and how much it's, it's based on, on basic principles, right? And, and foundational, you know what I'm saying, Chad? That's how it is, baby. Foundational principles, right? So, you know, people, people, you know, they flip out when they see me yelling and screaming doing a workout and my approach, but that's how I approach shit I care about, whether it's my MBA program, whether it was, was going to college to get my degree, whether it was trying to be a successful CFO, and now, hey Jennifer, and now it's about trying to build a business, but you gotta be passionate. If you wanna lose 20 pounds, go get that shit. You wanna be a lawyer, go get that shit. If you're a teenager and you wanna play, you know, start on a varsity team as, 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 a, as a freshman, go get that shit. You cannot approach the things you want casually can't do it gotta have emotion right things that are hard uh are, that are hard to get require that you come to it with some fuel hey Sade, with some energy and passion because if you don't you won't win like if you and i are fighting for a world crown in boxing and we're the same size same weight same speed same power same strength but you want it and i kind of want it you're gonna win right so there's thousands of people who want to be a doctor there's thousands of people who want to be a lawyer. There's thousands of people who want to lose weight. But if you want to do it, you got to care about it. It got to matter to you, right? So when I wake up in the morning and I'm like, damn, I got to go do a boot camp again. I got to build this brand. I got to do a video. Uh, I got to talk on camera. When people who know me for a long time know I don't like talking in public, believe it or not. But, but what drives me, what pushes me is three words, Amari, Jackie, Maria, Right, my foundation, my house, my my purpose. What drives me is knowing that people out there need me to help them, to push them, to make them better. What drives me is my mom who died 20 years ago at 56 because I wasn't ready to help her. So, if you want to lose weight, right? If you want to be, again, a lawyer, you want to be a varsity football player, you want to go to college and get a scholarship, you want to be a doctor, whatever you want in life, you cannot approach that shit without passion. So when I wake up, that's what I do. I grind, I push, I yell, I scream, because I want to be great. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next month. I want to be great today, right? So do that shit. Be great today. Not tomorrow, not next week. Don't, don't wait for somebody else to help you. It's like if 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 I, if I was living in, in prehistoric times, what's up, Mikey, and I knew that I needed my family to be provided for, I'm not waiting for the guy in the next village to, to provide food for my wife. Or, 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 or model behavior for my son. I'm going to do that shit. I'm going to hunt the lion. right? I'm going to gather it. I'm going to build the house. right? So whatever you want in life, stop waiting around for everybody to do it for you and give you answers and provide direction. right? Get your ass up. Right? Fight for what you want in life and go get it. 
right? And if it looks weird because everybody around you wants to be average, so be it. Be weird. Be weird and great, right? As Frank Sinatra once said, the the, the greatest uh, payback and revenge is is massive success. So it feels uncomfortable when you're doing things that other people aren't doing. They want to party. You want to study. They want to they want to sit down. You want to go train, right? Be different, right? Be different so you can be great. All right, guys? So be passionate, right? Be passionate about what you do, right? Be emotional. I don't care how you look doing it. Yell, scream, fight, claw, whatever you got to do to be better than you were yesterday. And if you keep doing that, I promise you, whatever you want in life, whatever you want in life, be a doctor, right? Be a teacher, right? Compete with horses, right? Like like, like, like Chad's wife does. You know, be a, be, you know, be a play in the NFL, play in the NBA, you know, be a varsity starting point guard on you. Whatever it is, guys, go get it. Don't wait around. Go get it. All right, guys. Love you. That was short. That's not like me to be short. Um, but have a great day, guys. I love you. I'm going to check back in probably in a day or two. Um, but yeah, guys, you know, don't, don't, you know, like Jennifer said, nothing wrong with being weird, right? Everybody who's great is weird, right? We, we different. People who want to be great, we different, right? Accept it. Move on. Uh, you know, you know, surround yourself with people who love you and care, care for you and push you and motivate you and inspire you like me. All right, guys. Love you. Have a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Bye-bye.